Okay, so I'm back to my WordPress site here where it says I'm missing some information. Now, in the previous video, I just created a MySQL database. So, the information I got from that video, I'm going to enter it on to this site. So, I'm going to go ahead and create on create a configuration file. And so now I brought with a message here where it says they need my database name, my database username, password, and host. So, I'm going to continue. And so now, this is where I would enter my database name. So, the database name that I created in the previous video was Francis underscore test WP2. And the username just happened to be the same thing as well. And password. And localhost, I'll leave it as that. And the table prefix, I'll leave it at that as well. And now I'm just going to click on Submit. There, so that step is complete. Now I'm just going to click on Run the Install. Okay, now just a little bit more information is needed for us to complete this installation. We're going to type in the site title here. For this example, I'll just say testing WP. Your username is what you're going to use to log in. It could be anything you want. It could be admin. Let's just leave it at admin for now. Uh, the password, you're going to want to enter that twice. So let's just make a password here. and your email and click on install WordPress and there you go installation is complete now you can log in and in the next video I'll show you a quick tour of the dashboard after we log in